always a great pleasure to be here in the Côte d'Azur region. We find ourselves in Monaco with football action on the menu. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. It's Monaco taking on Liverpool. Yes, cheers, Derek. Well, what an occasion it is for this club and its supporters. These are the games that they dream of. No doubt in they're the underdogs, but if they can frustrate their opponents, stay in the game up until half-time, you just never know. Hopefully we get a great cup tie and maybe even a massive surprise. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold starts with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. Jordan Henderson starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. It's a good Liverpool move in the making. Oh, a lovely ball. But how well he did to cut that one out. Well, I think, Stuart, you have to feel for any defender charged with the task of keeping Mo Salah quiet. He can be fantastic to watch. Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Oh, wait a minute. They could well be in. Can they put it away? Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. And they find a gap in the defence. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Monaco have lost it. Encouraging move from Liverpool. But a good piece of defence to bring it to an end how can he take them on and beat them Holland oh a good diving save And over comes the corner. The clearance wasn't decisive. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Andrew Robertson. Now well, that's a well-timed pass. Thiago. Superb block. And the referee blows for a foul. Can he make it 1 0? And a timely penalty save. for the short corner defensive resilience to shut them down well that is how to nullify the opposition oh that's an interesting pass Ben Yedder Dallavine Holland good looking cross
Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and the finish is really well taken, because he judges the flight of the ball, uses the right technique, and then makes such good contact. That's a clever goal. The action continues. Is there to be a response from Liverpool now? There needs to be. Well, Monaco certainly haven't dominated the ball so far, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's good. Can't miss, surely! High echelon goalkeeping there. He's driven in the corner. Cleared away comprehensively. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. Electing to cross into the centre. And touched onto the frame of the goal. And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save and then the recovery. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. Well, just a warning on this occasion. Might have decided to hand out the yellow card. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. And that's a straightforward stop. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Well, not really too many opportunities for Mo Salah to show us class. In the... And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Possession given away, unfortunately. And space here on the flank. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Teammate available. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. And Mohamed Salah now. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Well, they've decided to make a change. It's a short corner. Cuts it back. Fabinho. A very effective challenge put in. Kevin Follant. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Jump. It's a good looking ball in behind. Oh, off the post. Still alive. Andrew Robertson. Well, that would certainly have put them in a great position. With only a one-goal lead, they're never going to be able to relax. It's a good Liverpool move in the making. Terrific block. Chance to cross. Henderson. And return to Salah. Henderson. Salah. Well, sloppy in possession. And now, passing it through. 
Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? And they will make the change now. Playing it in. Just the clearance that was called for. He's protecting it well. And he did well to cut it out. Well, as the stats confirm, Liverpool had the lion's share of the ball. But most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. And it crossed the touch line, so a throw in here. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Read it superbly to take back possession. Thiago. Milner. Firmino. And here's Milner. And Mohamed Salah now. Straight offside, but only just. time left now and these supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line what an atmosphere oh nice ball over the top to chase Robertson here's Firmino losing possession a bit easily now can they counter clinically they need to get bodies back. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Salah. Fabinho now. Andrew Robertson. Luis Diaz. It's with Fabinho. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Liverpool continue to attack with time against them here. Luis Diaz, they could pick out a teammate. And Thiago, can they take advantage? And that is the end of the story. And my goodness, Liverpool fans will be wondering what on earth happened tonight. A wretched start to their Champions League season on match day one. Well, it's not the start they wanted. It puts them under a bit of pressure going into the next game. They need to bounce back now. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart.